I'm a personal fan of the Schnitzer since 1980. The first diamond that I ever bought in Israel was from Moshe Schnitzer in 1980. I just recently sold that stuff. <laughs> told me I would make profit on <laughs> um, and, and I sold it to Shmulek. <laughs> I'm only teasing. Um, I walked into Moshe Schnitzer the first time. I was intimidated. I was a kid. Moshe Schnitzer was Moshe Schnitzer. I will never forget the way he treated me. With respect, I remember he had a lunch there of many important people. He said, Ruben, please join us for lunch. He was a tremendous mensch, and he built the industry. And many times you see a successful father, but you do not see that continue onto the next generation. And here I think we could say just the opposite. I think if I may be so bold and say that Shmuel has now taken it further than that. He's continued the tremendous schnitzer tradition, and his son Shai is even continuing it more. It's a chut ha-meshulash ve-mehera lo yinateik. It's a tremendous cord that we hope will never be broken and will continue for many, many generations. Um, this evening, the Diamond Dealers Club would like to honor Shmulek Schnitzer for his tremendous work in his previous administration when he was president years ago, and with the continued hope, and we are sure, the confidence, how he will continue to lead the next generation again, and his next tenure of Israel, to bring it again to tremendous heights. So with the ambassador here, and with our close mentor and confidant, the honorary president, Mr. Eli Isaacoff, I would like very much to represent an award, to present an award to Shmulek as honorary membership of the Diamond Dealers Club in New York. The Diamond Dealers Club of New York is delighted to bestow honorary membership on Shnul Schnitzer, President of Israel Diamond Exchange, for his leadership qualities on behalf of the diamond industry and for the outstanding efforts to bring about closer cooperation between the IDE and the DDC of New York. Shmulek, as a friend, as a fan, and as a customer, it's an honor for me to give you this award. Here, here. Before I say thank you very much, Ruben, before I say some words, I'd like to give you also a token from us, you know, please. It's a menorah from the third century, Ruben. This from all the members of the Israeli Diamond Exchange. It's appreciation for all of you who done here. Thank you very much, Ruben. Thank you. Okay, with your permission, I have a, not a long speech. <laughs> Honorable Ambassador of Israel to the United Nations, Mr. Owen Prosor, the DDC President Ruben Kaufman, Steering Committee Chairman on behalf of the Israel Diamond Exchange, Moti Fluke, where are you, Moti? Uh, committee Member Ami Parter. Ami Parter. And I have to tell you, allow me to say a few words in Hebrew here, two or three for sentences. שני אנשים האלה, מוטי ועמי, עמי קודם כל אני זוכר שהוא היה הזעם הראשוני של כל הרעיונות האלה של בכלל שבוע הקניינים גם בארץ גם בניו יורק, אז מגיע לו הרבה מחיאות כפיים על זה קודם כל, באמת תודה רבה. ומוטי פלוק, אני לא צריך לספר לכם את כל הפועל שלו וכך הלאה, באמת יש לנו כאן צוות נהדר, בעזרת דנה גם כן עובד שנמצאת כאן, מתחבאת מאחור, אמנם היא עשתה עבודה נהדרת. ולא מדבר על מוטי המנכ״ל שלנו שלצערנו מסביבות אישיות לא הצליח להגיע אבל באמת יש לנו כאן חבורה נהדרת שעושה עבודה מצוינת באמת מגיע להם הרבה מחיאות כפיים ותודה בשם כולנו כאן. So far the Hebrew, that's it. New York is a truly great city. I know this is not a breaking news for any one of you but for us New York is even more than the total of fine restaurants wonderful music and amazing streets. For New York is the business capital of our world, the diamond industry. So when things are good, 
for the Americans that are good for us. It's not surprising, this is our third Prime Minister, Levi Eshkol, you all remember Levi Eshkol, when he was still a finance minister, remarked, a draft in the Negev? For a, moment, for a moment I was worried, I thought you were talking about the United States. <laughs> and the same Levi Eshkol is also responsible for another famous quip, when the United States sneezes, Israel gets pneumonia. Well, oh, it's true. All this boils down to an important message to you, our American friends. You must not sneeze, and you need to make sure that your rain falls at exactly the right time, because at the end of the day, whether we like it or not, you are held responsible. Therefore, when I try to focus next year's market, I first of all look at the US market. And what I see now is pretty good. In the first seven months of 2013, the US sold nearly $40 billion of jewelry, $40 billion, a 7.4% increase over the previous year. In other words, despite the slowdown in the, in the rate of growth, jewelry sales were much better than they were in 2012. So we can expect an economic environment that supports our trade, but the world diamond industry is still looking at very serious challenges. Our immediate problem is that, and you heard, we all heard yesterday, that of synthetic diamonds. The fundamental question is, how can we guarantee disclosure? How can we prevent the inflation of synthetic diamonds, in, synthetics, into a trade of natural? There is no doubt in my mind that we need to find ways, including the most severe repercussions, to maintain public confidence in the product we are all so proud of, the natural diamond, and to guarantee full disclosure. That's the most important thing, the full disclosure. And I'm truly pleased that the WFDB, the World Federation of Diamond Brothers, has begun to take measures in this direction. The second problem we are now occupied with is the growing problem of financing throughout the diamond world. I deeply regret that banks are reducing their involvement in our industry. Over the years, the diamond industry has demonstrated financial res resilience sorry, and high ethical standards. And on top of that, several bourses are now working on defining new norms which will lead to much greater transparency in the industry including full cooperation between WFDB and international regularity authorities. I believe that the implementation of the upcoming recommendations will totally change the attitude of the banks. The problem of conflict diamonds. The problem of conflict diamonds is still of concern to us. Governments, our industry and the NGOs are handling it in the best manner possible. The world diamond industry can surely serve as an example to any other market sector in the world of an optimal combination, human conduct, good citizenship, and fair trade. As Vice Chairman of the World Diamond Council, I take this opportunity to thank the outgoing Chairman, WFDB Honorary President, our dear friend, Mr. Eli Isaacov, for the splendid job he did for 13 years as the head of the President of WDC. and to wish the best of success to the current chair, WFW Honorary President, Mr. Avi Paz. I would also like to thank my predecessor, Mr. Yael Saar, and President of the DDC, my long-standing friend, Ruben Kaufman, for this wonderful tradition of joint marketing projects. I am committed to the IDE's continuation and further promotion of this cooperation as we all recognize its great contribution to the members of both bourses, New York and Tel Aviv, Ramad Gan. <laughs> it is also a chance for me to thank our gracious hosts, the Diamond Dealers Club of New York and its president, Ruven Kaufman, for the honor you bestowed on me of honorary membership in the DDC. It is crystal clear to me that I was awarded this honor as the representative of 3,500 members of the Israel Diamond Exchange, so that in a way, each and every one of us received honorary membership today. For me personally, this is a direct contribution, continuation of the Lifetime Achievement Award that I received in the 2006 year at the DTC, 
when I resigned from the post of WFDB president. I thought then, and I haven't changed my mind, that there is no wisdom more apt than that of Winston Churchill. We make a living by, by what we get. We make a life but what we give. Oh. Thank you. I would like to conclude by wishing us all excellent sales in the upcoming season and ever and ever more pleasure from the diamond trade in 2014. Thank you all very, very much.